Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am doing things I only own one of as a teen minimalist. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do after you finish watching it then you can go ahead and like it down below. I would really appreciate that and consider subscribing as well. You can check out my channel down below if you'd like to as well. So without further ado let's go ahead and check out the things I only own one of. First of all I only own one pair of sunglasses. This is not an extreme thing to only own one of but I feel like a lot of teens in particular have all their different styles of sunglasses. I really have not had the greatest luck with sunglasses so I just have this one pair of $5 Walmart sunglasses because I don't find sunglasses very appealing to my face shape so I'm afraid to spend so much money on an expensive pair that I can get off online when it may not even look good on my face. The next thing that I only own one of is one bracelet, but this one is a diffuser bracelet so you can stick essential oils on it so it is practical as well as stylish and I really like how simple it is because it has these little marble rocks on it. Some are light pink, some are regular marble. And I will link the bracelet down below if I can find it. I'm not sure if it's a seasonal item or not. I also only have one chapstick um, scent or flavor, I guess you could say. So it's just this lavender Young Living Essential Oil lip balm and it does the best for my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on for you guys. And it goes on super nicely. It's so nice and smooth and it's also a little glossy so it almost looks like I have like lipstick or lip gloss on which I personally really like because it hydrates my lips and then it also makes them look nice so the lip balm is super great. So next this one's kind of a tricky one. So I have one pair of tennis shoes and I also have one pair of sneakers. So some people call it the same thing but I feel like they're very different for at least what I'm meaning. So I'll show you what I mean. I have one pair of shoes that look like this so like tie up flat shoes I only have one pair and these I would call sneakers um, I just have a basic white pair because they're really just can go with so much stuff they're basic they have a little bit of detail on them and they're really nice shoes I will link them down below I got these off Amazon I did get them on Black Friday so they were a little bit cheaper um, but they're around $50 they're super comfortable and um, just love these shoes a lot. And in case you're wondering, these are the tennis shoes that I have. I said tennis shoes, but I meant running shoes. Very similar, but anyways, these are my one pair of running shoes. These are Asics, I got these also, I believe, from Amazon, so I'll link these down below as well. But I really only use these for like working out and running. Next up, I only have one utility jacket and one denim jacket. So this is the utility jacket that I have here. I'm wearing it. I will overlay some clips for you guys. And then here's also my denim jacket and I'll overlay some clips for that as well. Just ignore me talking in these clips because this was just another video that I never actually finished publishing. Next up, I only have one watch and that is this... Apple Series 3 watch. I've had like Casio watches before but they're just like they make noises. They're plastic. They look not so great in my opinion. I've just had them for so many years that I just switched over to my Apple Series 3 watch and I've gotten rid of all the other watches that I have but currently I just have one watch, one band and this works really great for me. I love the watch so much. Again I'll link it down below. It is Apple. Um, so it's going to be from apple.com. Then I have one jumpsuit and I'll stick it on the screen as well. And this is a nice brown jumpsuit. I found brown was a nice neutral color that could go with a lot of different stuff. It goes with so many of my shoes and it also goes with my nice decorative hat that I have. So it's definitely a great jumpsuit and I only need one and only have one. I only have one long necklace and that's this locket kind of sterling silver necklace. It does get dirty really easily so I might be eventually doing something different with this necklace. I'm not sure but I only have one long necklace at the moment. Next I only have one button up or button down shirt and that's this oversized green shirt. This color I'm using right now for my January capsule. If you'd like to watch that video then it's up here in the iCards for you guys. Next up I have just one pair of slippers. Next up, I only have one eraser, and this one is just a basic eraser. I'm not sure the brand. I like the big one because it's not that small one that you have to stick around on your pencil or anything. 
Um, I do have erasers on my mechanical pencils, but I really don't think they, they count. But other than that, I don't have any attachable erasers. I just have this one big eraser that I use for all my erasing. I feel like this is going to last me like three or four years. In the past, I had multiple erasers that had like different patterns and different colors. And it was almost a collector's item, but... Then I realized I never really used erasers. Next up, I only have one perfume, and this is a homemade perfume made from a couple different essential oils. If you guys would like to see the recipe that I have for making this perfume, then definitely leave a comment down below, and I can post it on my Instagram. My Instagram is Elise Lewis. YT. Next up, I only have one succulent, and I'd be lying if I said I only have one plant because I definitely don't have one plant, but I only have one succulent, and that is this cute little Wegmans succulent here. It has stayed alive for so long. I did not know what it's called. So yeah, I only have one of these, and I have most plants, but I only have one succulent. So next up, I kind of have a grouping of items, but I only have one of each. I have one deodorant, and this is the Valor deodorant. This is from Young Living as well. I do have a lot of Young Living products, but they're essential oil-based, all natural, super healthy, cruelty, and vegan-free. So you don't have to worry about any of the problems that you normally get from products. You don't have to worry about any sulfates. So next, I have one moisturizer, and that is the Young Living Genesis Hand and Body Lotion. This is their Genesis bottle here. Again, the same thing that I said about the deodorant. All the wonderful stuff is in all these products. So I have one deodorant. I have one moisturizer that I use for my body, hands, and also my face. So that's my same face moisturizer. Next, I have one toothpaste, and that is this Thieves Whitening Toothpaste, and this is also by Young Living. Once again, it doesn't have any of those bad products in it, so I'm not going to be putting the products on my skin or internally into the body. The taking care of your internal body so that your external body will not suffer for it. Next, I only have one facial wash, and this is the Orange Blossom Face Wash. And this is a pump form, so it just has this pump on it here. This has lasted a really nice long time, and we did not have to dilute it at all. Just for normal to oily skin, so it really works for most skin types. This is their Orange Blossom, works really great. It's not too overpowering on the scent, or doesn't affect your skin at all. And then I also have this Satin Facial Scrub, and this is mint. I'm labeling this as my one and only exfoliant product because I don't only use this on my face. During the winter time is really when I'm using this. Every once in a while when I'm taking a shower, I will just use this on most of my body. All these products are linked down below. Other than my makeup, this is all the products that I have and I just have one of each. A lot of people just have the two-in-one, but I found the two-in-ones not work as great for me, so it's important for me to have one shampoo and one conditioner, but I do not have multiple like scents and things. My shampoo is Young Living and my conditioner is Nature's Gate. So the next item that, that I only have one of is one pair of leggings. A lot of people have so many pairs of leggings, and for me, I do work out, but I prefer to wear shorts over leggings for working out. That's, I'm sure, one reason why I don't wear a lot of leggings, because I need to be modest when I'm wearing them. But I did invest in a nice pair of leggings, and these are Fabletics black leggings. I will link them down below for you guys. They have this wonderful side pocket for a phone. They have a zipper pocket on the side, and then they also have these zippers on the heels and these are great um, they just add extra style to the leggings next up I only have one comb and this is this plastic comb me and my sister honestly had this since we were probably about five and six years old so it's been over ten years that we've had this one comb this used to be our like play dress-up comb I don't know why but it was just in that drawer one side has the small bristles the other side has the large bristles. And then next, I only have one brush, and this is the wet brush. This is the black and white version of their wet brush, and this I just got from Walmart for, I think, uh, 10 bucks, and this works really great for my hair. It works when I have dry hair and when I have wet hair, so I found that this brush is so much better than any of the brushes I've ever owned because it just works whenever 
I need to brush my hair. So that's all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give it a like down below and consider subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. And you can always check out my content in the description box or up here in the iCards. Also, I have a question for you guys today. What's something that you only own one of? Let me know in the comments below and thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.